Not burning fat, this thing might be the reason why. Long distance steady state cardio has been shown to increase cortisol levels, it increases impact on the joints, and it takes a lot of time to do, and frankly, it's just not an efficient way to burn fat. Guys, treadmills, treadmill, blah. I know where I'm going with this, don't worry, I got this. What's up guys, Matt Dashu here from Blue Star Nutraceuticals. Welcome to another one of our faster fat loss videos. Now today we're gonna to talk about treadmill sprints and the treadmill in general. A lot of times people think when they are going to lose fat, the first thing that pops into their head is to spend a bunch of time doing long distance steady state cardio. And this is usually the tool that they go for first assuming they're not hitting the roads. Bottom line is it's just not an efficient way to burn fat. So what we wanna to do today is give you a more efficient way to burn fat and to show you how to use this thing effectively and make it your friend as opposed to it being your enemy. Now, originally when I wrote this workout, my plan was to combine treadmill sprints for 45 seconds with push-ups for 45 seconds, taking 60 second rests in between and using that as a simple but deadly workout to get you super fast results. Now, unfortunately, I have an injured hamstring and I was just trying to fart around with some sprints on here and my hamstring is not gonna take it today. So we're gonna go over to the row machine for the actual workout, but I want you to take these concepts and apply them to the treadmill. I want you to assume that we're going to be using this through the whole workout, even though we're using a different tool. In the end, Really, what you want to be doing is sprinting for that cardio. We're trying to get away from that long distance steady state because it's just not efficient. With metabolic conditioning, which is the type of workouts we do for these faster fat loss videos, what we're doing is we're combining resistance training that makes the muscles work hard with cardiovascular work that makes the heart beat fast. By doing that, we're gonna burn a lot more stored fat during the workout and a lot more after the workout by creating an epoch effect. Excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. What we're trying to do is create an oxygen deficit by working our muscles and our heart so hard during the workout that over the course of the next couple days, we have to recover that debt and burn more calories, okay? So by busting our ass in here doing sprints, whether it be on a treadmill or a row machine or a bike or whatever, and then combining that with our resistance training, we're gonna burn more fat in less time, and that's the name of the game. Less impact on the body, more fat burn, and help you guys get the goals that you're looking for as fast as possible. So I'm gonna get into this workout, I'm gonna slam some PPK. I'm gonna head over to the row machine to get my row sprints in with my push-ups, but I want you guys to be doing this workout with the same type of profile on the treadmill, all right? Let's get to it. Listen, I'm not gonna talk anymore because I'm gonna save my oxygen because this is gonna be tough as shit. I'm gonna get straight to it. I'm gonna do my best to give you some pointers as we're going through. So stick around for the video because I'm gonna give you some really critical points that you guys are gonna be able to use to enhance your fat burning effects and your muscle building workouts as we go through here, okay? So let's get started. I got my minion running the timer for me. Love you, Adam, thank you so much. And we're gonna get rolling right now. So 45 seconds of push-ups. here we go. All right, guys, now, if you're looking at this workout right now, I know exactly what you're thinking. It's like, this isn't a whole bunch of different exercises. This is two exercises for 12 rounds. Listen, the reason why we're doing this is because I wanna show you how unbelievably critically badass these workouts can be without having a ton of equipment, without making them complicated. All you gotta do is nut up or shut up. You gotta bring your A game and you gotta push hard. This is gonna obliterate me right off the hop, I can tell you that. And this is gonna be a super tough workout, but these are the best types of workouts that you can do to burn fat. Oh, yeah. Woo. I'm gonna go straight into 45 seconds treadmill, row sprint here, and then I'm gonna rest for 60 seconds in between rounds. When you're doing your rows here, a couple things that I like to keep in mind. I wanna make sure I'm not rounding my back a ton. So I wanna get a good full range of motion. I wanna hinge the hips, much like I would for a deadlift. Try to keep my lower back nice and neutral. I can round my upper back a little bit if I want for that extra reach, but I wanna make sure as I extend, I'm keeping my back nice and straight. Pull the shoulder blades down and back as you would for any row. Nice, good full range of motion. Drive hard with the feet, hinge at the hips. Make sure you're taking big, deep breaths as you do each rep. Woo! All right guys, so listen, body's got a special kind of fat called stored fat, all right? Essentially, this is the stored fat that makes us look chubby. When we do these metabolic conditioning workouts, we're tapping into our body's ability to turn that fat into energy for the workout. So we're gonna be burning that fat very specifically while we're doing these metabolic conditioning workouts. You wanna make sure you keep the intensity up high for this. The difference between this and our steady state cardio, <sighs> Sorry, this is killing me already. Is that we're just not gonna get the same training effect in the same amount of time. With a lot of those workouts going for so long to burn the same amount of calories, we're gonna end up, a lot of times, cranking up our cortisol so much that it makes it hard for us to effectively burn fat and gain muscle. So we're slowing down our progress, sabotaging our results. We wanna do everything we can to avoid that. All right, let's do it. 
So really important to keep the intensity up with these exercises. Keep our max heart rate at around 85% during our cardiovascular work. During our rest, we don't want to get below 65%, but we just gonna keep pushing through here. Woo. If you're using one of those typical treadmills, you'll see in a lot of big box gyms that you have to manually increase the speed on. It's gonna really mess you up if you're trying to do sprints on that. So typically what I advise, put it up to whatever sprint speed you want and leave it on that when you are doing your push-ups or when you're resting and just let it keep going. That way you're not taking 30 seconds to try to increase the speed while you're re-engaging your sprint. You are gonna hop onto it running. So this can be dangerous, it can be tricky. I would recommend making sure you have both hands on the bar. Be very careful when you hop back on that you don't get cannonaded out the back end, making yourself look like a viral video sensation. I've done it before, trust me, it's not fun. <coughs> oh, I inhaled something, might have been a fly. All right guys, now listen, again, the name of the game here is to create that afterburner effect or that epoch effect. You're not gonna get this from steady state cardio. You're not gonna get this from the slow stuff on the treadmill. What we're trying to do is create enough of an oxygen deficit by working so hard during the workout that over the course of the next couple days, we have to regain that oxygen debt by taking in more oxygen. Our body has to work harder, which means we're gonna burn calories. Now listen, the overall effect of this isn't as large as the effect of the workout in general. So the workout itself is still critically effective. But again, what we're trying to do here is make these quick, effective and get you the most bang for your buck. So you wanna make sure that you're busting your ass during these workouts and really pushing yourself hard so that you can create that effect, okay? Steady state cardio is just not gonna create that same effect for you and it's gonna take a lot longer to get the same amount of calorie burn. 60 seconds, let's get back into it. Now guys, at some point you're gonna gas out and what you're gonna have to do is just change push-up variation. Totally fine, you just wanna keep working. Oh. All right guys, now look, when you're doing these workouts, it's really important to stay hydrated. Now you can't drink water, that's great. One of the things I've learned over the years is to take something that's got electrolytes and that's gonna help you to recover faster, both in between sets and in between workouts. Three, two, one, Woo. My personal favorite is the Blue Stars Amino Fast. It's got a hydration complex, branched chain amino acids, slow burn carbs. It's gonna help you recover faster, both in between sets, help give you more energy during the workouts, and help speed up your recovery post-workout as well. And beyond that, the flavors are unbelievable. Click the link in the description down below. Go buy 10, trust me, you're gonna love guys. Okay, on to the last round, guys. And again, just another mention, you might have to change variations as you get through. I'm a number of rounds into this right now. My chest is getting super tired, so I can't do full push-ups for the entire 45 seconds. So what I'm doing is dropping to push-ups from the knees. Another variation you can do if you have access is a countertop or a Smith machine or a bench press. You can elevate the bar so that it takes pressure off the push-ups. The important thing is to keep active no matter what. If the variation gets too hard, switch to an easier variation, bottom line. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Last round here, guys. I know we're all super tired and I know you want to go balls to the wall and I recommend that. Just be careful on the treadmill. Don't injure yourself. An injured athlete can't get stronger. Keep the intensity up, but make sure it's manageable. Three, two, one. Oh. All right, guys. That's it for the workout for today. Now listen, just to reiterate, what is it that might be killing all your fat loss work? The treadmill. Is the treadmill bad? No, how you're using it might just be ineffective. Remember, sprints are gonna be a more effective and efficient way, burning fat, better time, and creating that excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Does it have to be a treadmill? No, obviously you can do it on a row machine as well, but treadmills are super awesome when used correctly. And again, that's the key. If you enjoyed this workout today, hit like and subscribe. Put two of these bad boys out every week. Try to make it something that's helpful for you, helps you hit your goals fast and efficiently. We really care about you guys. We wanna hear about your comments. We wanna know if there's anything that you wanna see that we haven't done yet or any way we can help you. Keep in mind, we're not just a YouTube channel, an award-winning supplement company, and we have a supplement for your muscle building or fat burning goals. Click the links below, check out our website. Again, a couple of my personal faves, PPK before the workout, amino fast during, and I'm gonna go smash some ISO smooth right now. Got performance, recovery, Bob's your uncle. Till next time guys, stay lean, stay mean, and most importantly, stay strong. All right guys, thank you for joining us for another Blue Star Nutraceuticals training video. And remember, if you wanna to continue to build muscle and burn fat, we've got awesome content here and here. And if you hit the subscribe button right here, I promise you will be putting out two videos every single week that'll help you reach your muscle building goals. And remember, we're not just a YouTube channel, we also make award-winning supplements. So no matter what your goal, whether it's to build muscle or burn fat, we've got the supplement for you. So check us out at bluestarnutraceuticals.com.
Oh, why do I do this to myself? <laughs>